met you here, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, so far, I mean, it's been, it's been quite a role with you, though. It's been mm-hmm. quite a role with you. My daughter, you are very strong willed as you can. You demonstrated, man. I, I, I was trying to go the other way, you just turned me around. It was like, this is okay. You are very, um, you're expressive, and that's good. For your age, you have acquired some reasonable amount of knowledge to set you on a path that has brought you here so far. And you're doing good. You're 21. And that's a plus. Most people have not achieved the amount of things you've achieved at your age. And that's very commendable. Um, you know how to, you know how to talk. You know how to say what's on your mind, irrespective of what you think the other party thinks. You're very expressive. You bear your mind out, and that's a very good thing. Um, you don't really care what people think about you. You don't care what people see. For the most part, that's what I've seen. Irrespective of what people might say, do, think, you just be yourself. And that's very good. And just like Aquafina, you like Fadio. You think that was all? Hmm? That was all. What am I supposed to say? Anyway, like you said, father and daughter, um, I met Kerry in the house. And the first thing was like, my daughter. And I was like, are we? My father. And we were so cool. And there's one thing I would like to say is thank you so much. I remember Saturday when I did something wrong. <laughs> and I felt so sad. And Sal right morning told me what I did. And I was so down. I didn't even know what to do. I felt like I was up for eviction. I felt like, oh, what I did will lead to me getting disqualified. And me and my friend at that time, our banner started. So... We're not talking. So I was just on my bed. I was crying. I was just alone. I felt alone. I felt sad. Like, I didn't know what to do. I was like, oh, I'm going to go home. I was just heartbroken. Then he came to check up on me, and he was like, are you okay? Are you good? Like, he spoke to me, and I felt like my brother came to this house with me. I felt so comfortable. I felt so loved. I felt like, oh, like someone could just come and check up on me. I didn't even listen to him, but he came again the second time, and he came to ask me, don't worry, you won't go home, you're strong. Nothing is going to happen. Just stay still. And he went to call Alexandra, because he knows Alexandra is <laughs> my baby. <laughs> so, I'm my mother. <laughs> so, and they came, and I felt so good. Like, I felt so warmed, and we cried together, and I felt like, I was at peace and thank you so much for, for that mm-hmm. and thank you Alexandra for that like I felt so relieved and I felt like oh nothing would even happen and Tara is he's strong he's determined you know as much as people don't see his good side you guys are only seeing his bad side <laughs> He likes, he, once he wants, he puts his head for something, he likes to go for that thing. You know, as much as, he doesn't, he doesn't put his emotions first. It's after he thinks about the other thing. And you're lovable. Like, you're a sweet person. Even if you haven't, nobody has seen that part of you. And I feel like you should allow people to see that. Don't allow people to see the other side. Because you are a sweet person inside you. And I feel like that's what people haven't seen yet in this house. And I feel like when you let them see it, the love is going to grow now. And you know, as much as people say, it's a soft thing inside him. And, <laughs> and it's so sweet and it's so adorable. I was supposed to be yesterday, trust me, because I felt disappointed. Yeah. But like, you, you don't, please, please don't remind me of the past. But like, he came and he apologized and at least he still got the apology. But like, I would like to say thank you so much. For the care you showed and the love and making me feel safe sometimes and
and 